Hi there, welcome to Manenos, where we are simply real men. I'd like to introduce my good friend and confidant. His name is Maina Moregi, but I think it's best if he introduces himself and uh, he tells us a little about his story. Hi everyone. Um, first, let me just applaud Kenji for, I like what he did there with Manenos, you know, Manenos, you get it? <laughs> Right. Yeah. So a bit about myself and what I'm here to talk about is just the aspect that um, yeah. I have been, I will be eight years sober in, in wow. August wow. Uh, this year and for me that is an absolutely, absolutely big thing. More power to you bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, Pines was, Pines was one of the things that um, really, really had a hold of me. Mm. Uh, and normally in 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 cube, I like um, how it's described because mm. it's called Johi. Johi, uh, you know, for those who speak French. Um, <laughs> and Johi just yeah. depicts that aspect that this thing binds you. Yeah. And for me, that's what it was. It uh. used to be something that used to bind me. Mm. Mm. Uh, and how I know that is because I'd go out mm. and there are periods of time where you can stay, you can go for about a month, two mm. months, you know, um, without drinking three mm. months. But the minute you taste yeah. booze, yeah. then it's like you never stopped. Mm. Yeah. I, I really want to understand why was it such a big issue? What was your journey like? To the point where you decided I'm done with booze. Like this, this is now in the past. Moving forward, I'm going clean. Well, what got you there? All right. Um, my journey with booze started when um, I was 18. Mm. I've just finished high school. Mm. Um, this is this is what the food kids do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd go out uh, and. I knew that now that I'm 18, I am allowed by mm. law mm. Mm. to be able to drink. So mm. that's when that, all this started. Mm-hmm. And you know, it it start with one drink, yeah. uh, uh, and then soon you can graduate, you can be able to take more. Mm-hmm. And you know, the 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 thing about being in that space is that people will now. You know, the more you're able to take, the more money you feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was that was that was the thing for me. I, d- I did want to fit into the crowd. I did want to. I wanted to be a cool kid, mm-hmm. um, and I, I wanted to you know look like a guy who has it in control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but Mina, I mean, uh, do you condemn booze? Because personally, I have nothing against alcohol. I want to understand your story because you have such a powerful story minor eight years clean and there's a point you were literally an alcoholic if i could so to speak so just just tell me just give us the juice the meat like why how did you get there to that point and you're like the thing about being in a space is you know you, know, you don't live life by other people's standards yeah you live life by your own standards mm-hmm. So do I condemn alcohol? I mean, if it works for you, yeah. mm. but for me it was something that I couldn't handle mm. as it should be handled. Mm. And that's why for me it became a problem. Mm. Um, because then, why, why, why do you want to quit? You want to quit because for me it was the things that come with it. Mm. You know, the, their judgment. Mm. Mm. Um, at times they over mm. um, the discord it would bring mm. um, within my own family. Mm. Mm. Um, and I remember when, 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 when I used to drink, mm. it was a tough space because I, I, I mean, I was living at home. Mm. Um, so it was a tough space because then, even um, first, what I'm doing mm. um, is something that. Is not believed in. You know, my mom really used to pray for me to 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 to, to stop drinking. How bad was it? it, it when it, you say impaired judgment, 
what are those things you used to do? Li li funga vitu kama tatu you are like what are these? Simple judgment in yeah. aspect of driving. Yeah. Uh-huh. Driving on your boost. Mm. Um you know you 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 you'll make calls that like for me I'd make calls that I would not make when I was sober. I hear you. You know and just when tomorrow you're thinking how I did that. Yeah. Or again I have memory lapses. Yeah and you're t- trying to figure it out mm. but you know because it's an exciting thing everyone mm. you can blame it on the alcohol of course, of right? course. Yeah. but i wasn't taking responsibility for yeah. It. Yeah. i wasn't taking responsibility about the decision that i chose mm. to take that first drink mm. i chose to take the second drink mm. i chose to drink that whole bottle mm. you know and that was something that was affecting me why mm. Because I was not in control. I see. And and let me ask, Marina, were, 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 were there any external factors? Uh, for instance, were, were you in like toxic crowds? Where did you have boys who would constantly reel you into this? Because that's one thing we struggle with a lot. In fact, a lot of some of our bad habits are because of that hard mentality. We, you know, they, they say um, uh, misery loves company. So when we feel like we are low and we just need, you know, like a boost or like a, you know, a kicker, we'd always look for that pal who's we, we share similar, I'll say, drug habits. You know, to console each other and just you know make each other feel like you know we're worthy and uh, I mean, again, we're having fun. Life is about that, you know. I mean, life life is about what you perceive as life. Mm-hmm. I cannot, if I look back in hindsight, I cannot blame uh, the friends I kept mm. for my journey with alcohol. Yeah. It, it was about me. It was about. There's no one who will ever come and open your mouth and tell you now you have to. Uh huh. You know, I made that decision. I went to my wallet. I bought that. Mm-hmm. Right? So it wasn't about who was hanging out with, mm-hmm. and and I mean it's something that I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I did want to go out. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to. I did want to be that cookie. Mm-hmm. I did want to be able to, you know, uh, hang out with, with X X Y and Z. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's something that you know I wanted for mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? Because um, when I think about it now, mm-hmm. um, I wanted to feel that I was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was about me. That mm-hmm. aspect of I was craving, I was craving to be part of the crowd. I was craving to be that guy that gets and say, "Yo, I hung out with Mina yesterday, and it was super dope." Like that guy is the mm-hmm. coolest guy. I hear this side of the Sahara. I hear you know. And 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 Mina, now that you're talking about um, that, it boosts your self-esteem and ego. That shows there's there's a deficiency somewhere, yeah. and so people just don't run to the bottle yeah. because you know they just want to have fun. Yeah. But it is they are trying to remedy something which is an inner wound, or would I say, is a shadow in them. Yeah. So when you're saying you wanted to stay cool, yeah. is it that uh, is it matters to deal with acceptance that you're battling? Is it that you never saw? Like you are enough. You have your worth is enough to be like, yo, my peeps. Today, uh, you know, alcohol free. We can hang out, have a good chat, and I go home sober. Why is it so hard for men just to, just you know, I I I don't want to drink. You guys can enjoy yourselves, but I res- you respect that decision, and they are fine with it. Why is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't even expound on that, but. Um, <coughs> I don't want to speak for other men, mm. but I have to speak for myself. Okay. And I mean, me, I was was that cool guy will be really, mm. you know. Um, I will call you a pure Kenji. I uh, was up, let's go hang out, mm-hmm. and and you tell me, you know, I don't have to. And I ask you, did I ask you whether you have money? Mm. Who you said you're buying? You know, those kind I of guys. I used to be. I used to be <laughs> that kind of guy. And yeah. you see the thing about. Being a man is you never feel like you can share mm. what you're struggling. Mm. So I didn't, I don't 
even to the recall mm. telling anyone that I was struggling with mm. quitting drinking mm. Mm. you know i think um if i'm not mistaken the one person i shared with was my dad mm. but even at the time i shared it with him mm. um i was not sober mm. and looking back in hindsight that that was that was something mm. um because my dad is this fantastic guy and he lets you process yourself mm. so he asked me the next day you know the conversation you are trying to have with me yesterday mm. And we talk about it. And I can't recall what you are talking about. <laughs> you just had liquid courage. You know, At that time, you're so, like, oh, let me spit it out. Mm. You know, so it's 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 one of those spaces that you find embarrassing. Yeah. For lack of lack of a better word, mm. you know, because um, you yeah. can't even grow that third ball. You yeah. know, to confront things sober. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if you've also ha- I've had this challenge mm. of you know sharing real situations and experiences with my boys mm. in a sober state. You know, like I call up my boy, mm. we're going to have tea. I'll buy juice. Come, I we need to speak because I'm going through this and that. And it was so tough. Actually, it's sometimes so awkward mm. because the one time I tried it with a friend, mm. like it, it was like okay, so at uh, noon, zinga, you know, yeah. we're we're not getting a kicker, yeah. and and it just highlighted mm. an issue within myself. Why, why can't I have the balls mm. to have sober conversations, mm. or rather, real conversations mm. in a sober state? I mean that's that's usually a tricky one because yeah. like for me one of the things I discovered in my life is I compartmentalize people. Mm. So they're hanging out buddies, mm-hmm. they're church buddies, mm-hmm. um, they're business buddies. Yeah. Right? So I compartmentalize. So I pick when it's convenient for me. Yeah. Now that makes it very hard. Mm. For someone to know me mm. for who I really am. Mm. So if it was someone who was going to talk about me in the business realm, yeah. they only know the business realm. I, so I if someone was to tell you that's the guy you are talking about, that guy was drunk like that yesterday, that's the guy you want me to do business with. Uh-huh. You see, and that guy's like, Are you serious? This guy drinks. Mm. Because you're 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 picking and choosing mm. you know, your friends based on your lifestyle I see. and what you want to bring up and one of the things I discovered mm. or I yearned for is to have consistent friendship mm. someone that knows um, like today I am saved yeah. um, and I remember telling my boys we thank, we thank God thank, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I remember telling my boys um, the morning before before my wedding mm. and I remember how upset they were mm. upset like how can such a big thing happen in your life and you don't tell us mm. it's okay us guys are not safe but how can that happen and you don't tell us and that aspect crashed mm. because <clears throat> indeed what am I doing mm. in life I want to be able to walk authentically mm. with Jamaz. Mm. I want to be accepted for who I am. Mm-hmm. So if I'm going to be picking mm-hmm. based on my convenience, mm. then where is my authenticity going to come from? And that's something that I chose to do differently. Now, when I just, just pause there, you, you know what? In the interest of time, let's first, we'll halt there. That's why we take a break. You guys need to catch us on part two because part two, I, you mentioned something about salvation. You have to talk how about how this tied into. I believe this was the what the solution, what got you out of it. Is it part of it? Uh, no, not part of it. But okay. it's, it's still part of my journey. It's still part of his journey. So you guys, you need to check us on the second part of this conversation about booze. 
So, see ya.